I'm going to read The Pokey Little Puppy. Who remembers or who knows what pokey means? What does pokey mean? When you're getting ready for school, does anybody ever say to you, don't be so pokey, let's get going. Or we have to leave now, don't be so pokey. Can someone tell me what pokey means? Right, pokey means slow. The pokey little puppy. So this is a slow little puppy. He's not in a hurry to do anything. He's a pokey little puppy. He's very cute. And on the book, he is looking at a tiny little insect. Let's see what the pokey little puppy does. Five little puppies dug a hole under the fence and went for a walk in the big wide world. Through the meadow they went, down the road, over the bridge, across the green grass, and up the hill, one right after the other. And when they got to the top of the hill, they counted themselves. One, two, three, four. Oh, one little puppy wasn't there. Now where in the world is that pokey little puppy, they wondered, for he certainly wasn't on top of the hill with them. He wasn't going down the other side either. The only thing that they could see going down was a fuzzy caterpillar. He wasn't coming up this side. The only thing that he, they could see was a quick green lizard. But when they looked down at the grassy place near the bottom of the hill, there he was running around and around, his nose to the ground. I wonder what he was looking for or sniffing. What is he doing? The four little puppies asked one another. And down they went to see, roly-poly, pell-mell, tumble-bumble, until they came to the green grass and they stopped short. What in the world are you doing? They asked. I smell something, said Pokey Little Puppy. And then the four puppies began to sniff and they smelled it too. Rice pudding, they said. And home they went as fast as they could go, over the bridge, up the road, through the meadow and under the fence. And there, sure enough, dinner was waiting for them with rice pudding for dessert. Isn't that funny, boys and girls? Do you eat a rice pudding every once in a while? But their mother was greatly displeased. So you're the little puppies who dig holes under the fence. No rice pudding tonight. And she made them go straight to bed. But the pokey little puppy came home after everyone was sound asleep. He ate up the rice pudding and crawled into bed as happy as could be. The next morning, someone had filled the hole and put a sign up that said, don't ever dig holes under this fence. But the five little puppies dug a hole under the fence just the same, and they went for a walk in the wide, wide world. Through the meadow they went, down the road, over the bridge, across the green grass, and up the hill, two and two. When they got to the top of the hill, they counted themselves. One, two, three, four. Oh, one little puppy wasn't there. Now where in the world is that pokey little puppy, they wondered, for he certainly wasn't on the top of the hill with them. He wasn't going down the other side. The only thing they could see going down was a big black spider. He wasn't coming up this side. The only thing they could see coming up was a brown hop toad. But when they looked down the grassy place near the bottom of the hill, guess what they saw? They saw the pokey little puppy sitting still as a stone with his head on the side 
and his ears cocked up. What is he doing? The four little puppies asked one another. And down they went to see. Roly poly, pell mell, tumble bumble. Till they came to the green grass where they stopped short. What in the world are you doing? They asked. I hear something, said the pokey little puppy. The four little puppies listened and they could hear it too. Chocolate custard, they cried. Someone is pouring it into our bowls. And home they went as fast as they could. Over the bridge, up the road, through the meadow and under the fence. And there, sure enough, was dinner waiting for them and chocolate custard for dessert. But their mother was greatly displeased. So you're the little puppies who will dig holes under fences? No chocolate custard for you tonight. And she made them go straight to bed. But the pokey little puppy came home after everyone else was asleep and he ate up all the chocolate custard and crawled into bed as happy as could be. The next morning, someone had filled the hole again and put up a sign. Don't ever, ever dig holes under this fence. But in spite of that, the five little puppies dug a hole under the fence and went for a walk in the wide, wide world. Through the meadow they went, down the road, over the bridge, across the green grass, and up the hill, two and two. When they got to the top of the hill, they counted themselves. One, two, three, four. Uh-oh, one little puppy wasn't there. Now where in the world is that pokey little puppy this time, they wondered for he certainly wasn't on top of the hill with them. He wasn't going down the other side. The only thing they could see going down the side was a little tiny grass snake. He wasn't coming up this side. The only thing they could see coming up was a big grasshopper. But when they looked down at the grassy place at the bottom, there he was looking hard at something on the ground in front of him. What's he doing? The four little puppies asked one another. And down they went to see, roly-poly, pell-mell, tumble-bumble, until they came to the green grass. And there they stopped short. What in the world are you doing? They all asked. I see something, said the pokey little puppy. The four little puppies looked, and they could see it too. It was a ripe, red strawberry growing down there in the grass. Strawberry shortcake, they cried. And home they went as fast as they could go, over the bridge, up the road, through the meadow, and under the fence. And there, sure enough, was dinner waiting for them with strawberry shortcake for dessert. How many of you like strawberry shortcake? I really like strawberry shortcake. But their mother said, so you're the little puppies who dug that hole under the fence again. No strawberry shortcake for supper tonight. And she made them go straight to bed. But the four little puppies waited till they thought she was asleep. And then they slipped out and they filled up the hole. And when they turned around, there was their mother watching them. What good little puppies you are, she said. Come and have some strawberry shortcake. And this time, when the pokey little puppy got home, he had to squeeze in through a wide place in the fence. And there were his four brothers and sisters licking the last crumbs from their saucer. Dear me, said the mother, what a pity you're so pokey. Now the strawberry shortcake is all gone. So the pokey little puppy had to go to bed without a single bite of shortcake, and he felt very sorry for himself. And the next morning, someone had put up a sign that read, No desserts ever unless puppies never dig holes under this fence again. What do you think, boys and girls? Do you think that the puppies will 
dig holes again? I don't know. They might, but they take a chance of not having dessert. The pokey little puppy was pokey one too many times, and he didn't get to eat strawberry shortcake. How did you like that story? I like stories about puppies, and this one was fun.